It looks like we even have a couple of visitors around the spacecraft. If you look very closely, you might even see some dolphins. Again, a return by the books for Crew 11 having splashed down at 2.41 a.m. Central Time off the coast of California. We will now begin moving into the recovery process. We'll see the uh, boats begin to approach and inspect the spacecraft by checking for hypergol and uh, other ordnance checks. They will begin to rig the spacecraft and prepare it to be lifted on that recovery ship. And this is a great view of some of those boats that go out and check the spacecraft. They are going to be sniffing it essentially for these hazardous fuels that can linger once the spacecraft has re-entered Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX Dragon, 4.800, Section 3, we are in Stable 1. SpaceX copies, Stable 1. That's the voice of NASA astronaut and commander of Crew 11, Zena Cardman, reporting back that they are working through their procedures and that the capsule is in Stable 1, which is the position that you see on your screen here, where it is upright in the water. This is just what we were hoping for. And again, it's been a completely nominal and by the books return for the crew today. This is a live view of Crew 11 aboard Dragon from the SpaceX recovery vehicle, or from their SpaceX recovery ship. And this day for the crew started about 10 and a half hours ago when they undocked from the International Space Station. SpaceX Dragon recovery SpaceX. teams have been given the go to SpaceX approach. SpaceX is go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personnel alongside in one minute. Copy, one minute, thank you. And you just heard that call out from the core in Hawthorne, California, to the crew aboard Dragon that the SpaceX personnel who have been in the general vicinity of Dragon's anticipated splashdown location now have the go to approach the spacecraft and begin that recovery process. All right, so as we heard, we are now standing by for recovery of the Dragon Endeavor spacecraft with NASA astronaut Zena Cardman and Mike Fink, Kimia Yui of JAXA, and Roscosmos cosmonaut uh, Oleg Platonov, who are inside that spacecraft that you see there. Now, Dragon has autonomy, has already, oh, just, I would also like to point out, we've got uh, some folks here approaching the spacecraft now that it, they have gotten the okay for the approach. They're on some fast boats there. This is the SpaceX recovery team. Personally, one of my favorite teams to work at, work with here uh, at SpaceX. Um, they're a really scrappy crew and they're gonna work really quickly here to get the, uh, the, the Crew 11 team uh, out of the water. Um, and it's always a lot of fun to to watch uh, these operations proceed. Now, Dragon has already autonomously completed several steps to safe itself following splashdown. Uh, for those of you that perhaps just joined us, the return has gone very smoothly so far, as Leah had mentioned. Uh, Dragon successfully splashed down off the coast of San Diego, California at 12.41 a.m. Pacific time, 3.41 a.m. Eastern time. 
uh, approximately 10 and a half hours prior to splashdown, Dragon autonomously undocked from the International Space Station, completed a series of departure burns, jettisoned its trunk section, and performed its final burn, which was the deorbit burn, and that placed itself on a trajectory toward Southern California, specifically off the coast of San Diego. So Dragon successfully, successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, followed by deployment of its parachutes to slow the spacecraft down to a gentle splashdown. So we're now going to follow the final part of the crew's journey as uh, the Dragon uh, spacecraft is lifted out of the water and placed on the recovery boat. So we see here the recovery team um, beginning to prepare um, one of the most important uh, steps uh, will be to Dragon SpaceX, Hypergol sweeps and unfired ordnance checks, nominal. Rigging in progress, approximately two five minutes until capsule lift. Stand by for PMC. The next call you hear will be from SpaceX flight surgeon on Dragon to Ground Private. Dragon copies, two five minutes until lift, standing by for PMC. All right, we heard there that the crew will have an opportunity for a private medical conference with the flight surgeon. That is standard for all of our crew returns. Um, that will be done on a private channel. Great view here from the drone. This is our first look at the front side of Dragon Endeavor. I love this view because you can see um, the lights on on the inside. Uh, this crew member here is actually on the capsule, uh, beginning to place the rigging required for uh, the lift onto the large recovery vessel. This takes a few minutes to essentially lasso and wrangle the Dragon capsule as it gently bobs there in the water. <laughs> 